Hey, in this video I want to show you how to use the model comparison tool in order to gauge different traffic channels. This is especially important for those of you that are um, driving traffic from different conduits and you want to see the way that they're playing together. So, this isn't a Google Ads tool, it's a Google Analytics tool, but I think it's really helpful for those of you using Google Ads. Uh, in order to find this, you're going to go to Conversions, and under Conversions, you're going to Multi-Channel Funnels, and then click on Model Comparison Tool. A um, couple of notes about the navigation. For some reason, it defaults to the last seven days. I like to go back. Like I think that the more data you have, as long as it's relevant, obviously, the better, um, and the more information you're going to get out of this. I also say the exact same thing with the Look Back window. So, you know, depending on your conversion cycles, of course, um, if you have really narrow conversion cycles, then maybe that's not as important to do, but I like to open this up just because, especially in the beginning, when I'm trying to get a sense as to what our conversion paths look like, I think it's helpful to have a broader window. So you'll notice that it allows me to filter by conversion. I'm just going to stay all conversions here. Uh, I can also only look at Google Ads campaigns if I want to, which is kind of cool, but the point of this video is to help me see how other channels are interacting with Google Ads, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and now it's going to allow me to select models. I can select up to three. The very first one it's giving me is first click, which is fine, or first interaction excuse me um, so let's compare last interaction and now you'll get to see the way the tool works you can see MCF channel grouping by the way is model uh, or is a uh, multi-channel funnels um, so this is just the default grouping and you can choose other grouping if you want to but I think this one works just fine and uh, in order we've got uh, paid search organic search direct other which is analytics being petulant and not giving us information uh, social uh, email referral and, and other advertising channels and we can see the difference the um, uh, model comparison makes. So here's first interaction, the conversion value uh, from paid search is $656,000. But if we look at last interaction, it's a little under $400,000. It's a loss of 23%. So you can see from, you know, and it would, makes a lot of sense. Paid traffic is an acquisition strategy. As time wears on, paid traffic loses um, some of its influence to other uh, marketing mechanisms, organic, search, direct, etc. Um, and you can actually see organic loses uh, traffic a little bit, but direct skyrockets, other skyrockets, um, referral traffic skyrockets, and so we have these you know great big spikes um, in uh, the the way the interaction engages with our different conversion values. Um, and what's really cool is we can choose another one. So let's go use time decay. Um, so we've got first, last, and time decay, and you can start to see the difference between uh, all of these. You know, paid traffic, if you're, if you're gauging first to last click interaction, loses 23%. If you're using time decay, it only loses 14%, which makes a lot of sense. Paid traffic's um, impact on the conversion path uh, isn't done by any means, but it, I imagine it you know, begins to dilute depending on um, the account in the campaign. This, this account, obviously, uh, that's very clear. Um, I think it's funny how much credit direct traffic gets. I don't buy that all this is direct. Um, I don't think any paid ad manager does. But it's being attributed uh, as direct traffic, and so that's just worth you noting. Uh, but it's it's kind of a cool, um, it's a cool application. It's especially cool if you're running multiple traffic sources. You know, let's say you're running Facebook and Google Ads, and you just want to see the impact that each is having, um, and, you know, at, at which point or, you know, where in the funnel, I think this is uh, this is kind of a, a, a nice at a glance. And, you know, obviously play with your date ranges, play with your look back window. It's going to be heavily dependent upon the industry and the client. Um, but I hope that's helpful. Uh, nice little, you know, uh, uh, slice of data for you to bite into. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching the channel, and I'll see you all tomorrow.